Hey there, my name's Biffin, and welcome back to the Lost and Modded Minecraft server. I'm here with Hellish. Hello. Hi, guys. Hello. How's things? Yeah, all right. Yeah, not bad. Good, right? So, yeah. last time, you might remember, we wrote some programs to get the information from the MFUs, right? Yes, the uh, the here. program that we did last time was the one that's on the MFSUs, yes. And since last time, yeah. uh, I we, we've put it on all three of them now. So yeah. this computer up here, if I do... Uh, oh, what was the name of the program? Mm -hmm. Scan, wasn't it? Type list. Yeah. yeah, it was scan. So if I do oh, edit, I edit, edit, scan, yeah, there we you go. can see that uh, it wraps the uh, MFSU to the top mm -hmm. and it, it opens up a connection and waits for a message. Yeah. When it receive, uh, And it waits on the uh, port... Uh, protocol A1 because this, this is for scanning array one. Array one. Uh, yeah. So when it receives it on that protocol, uh, if the sender is 40, which is that computer up there at the office, uh, then it uh, reads the power and sends it back on the return protocol. Yeah. And all of these are the same except that one's this one isn't it's Steam. This one's the Steam, so that's S. I, I can't get to the computer from here. Hang on. There we go. So if I do edit, scan, you, oh, edit, scan, you can see that this one is That's the right. SM uh, protocol. Yeah, Steam Machine. So what we're going to do now is I'm, we're just going to actually set these all running because they're not they're not set to run at startup by default yet. But it's the kind of the last thing that we do when we're programming. Yeah, that's these two all running. Yeah, you got that one running? Yep, yeah, that one's running. So that was since last time. Since last time, uh, we've moved it to the other two computers, and mm -hmm. the uh, the program that we was working on downstairs in the uh, in the basement, we've moved up to their computer, to here, computer here, so that we can do today's episode on it. And it was called Power. <laughs> yes, it's called Power. Should we take a look at what it looks like at the minute? Yeah. Go for it. Oh. Spelled it wrong. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so here we are. It's all set up. We have the RedNet open on the bottom, the RedNet broadcast to all the different arrays. And then we print them out to the sign, basically. You can see here, right? You didn't just break that, did you? Oh no, no. You a disk drive down. <laughs> I, 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 I'm trying. I'm trying to put a disk drive down so that I can uh, modify a few things on some disks. Okay, cool. There we go. That'll do. Right. So that's that done. So we just quickly run it and show them. Yeah, run it. Yeah. yeah why not? Okay. Let me. Save. So this has been expanded a little bit since last time. Last yeah. time, all we had was. The top the kind top of th three lines? third, yeah, the top yeah. third. What we've done is repeated that for the A2 and the SM mm -hmm. and then printed it all out to, to the, the screen. The so screen. go for it, Biffin. Save. Just in case. Yeah. Exit. Power. Power. Jeremy. There we are. Yeah. You see the steam power's not doing very well at the minute. <laughs> not at all. Everything so at the minute... Good. We have to run this one one by one. It doesn't refresh. There's yeah. no kind of startup menu, and it's not on the monitor. Mm -hmm. So, which way around do you want to do it? Do you want to get it to the monitor first and then work on the next bits? No, do everything first and then move it to the monitor. I think. Okay, we're going to get the basics, the basic logic, all up mm -hmm. and running first, and then move it to the monitor. Sounds good to me. Right. I've got the programs disk just in case we need to copy any of this. Okay. But I wanted to have a look what was on the programs disk, so I put my little computer up here. What is on the programs disk? Yeah, I'm just having a look. Uh, yeah, we've got password, power, S tunnel, scan, and shaft. and shaft. Yeah, we're missing some. We're missing the uh, traffic lights. We're missing the traffic lights, and we're missing the sign. The sign, yeah. Both signs. One of them's gonna to have to be changed. I'm saving it on there because they're yeah, we'll call sign. it power sign, won't we? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, uh, whilst you start that, I'm gonna go around and fetch 
fetch all the uh, missing programs. Okay, so what am I doing here? Because I can't remember. Uh, well, at the minute, the power program just outputs it onto this screen, and it just outputs it once. So what we want to do is say, um, monitor power for so many minutes. Minutes. And get them to put in how long they can monitor the power for. And then what we'll do is we'll have some sort of loop that refreshes and then goes through and does the loop that many times. Something like that. Okay. So uh, how do we get an input? Can you remember? Have we got that in any program yet? We have. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to have a quick look at S uh, No, it's S tunnel. No, it's shaft. At the beginning of the shaft program, we um, take in a value from the uh, person from the from the oh, terminal. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah so what you, you need? Save it to an array, right? No, not necessarily. You just yeah, save to it to a, a, a variable. Yeah. So what you want to do is do your term dot write, ask them the question. And then put your variable equals read. So, like, how many minutes of monitoring? Or monitor for how many minutes, or something along those lines. Well, hang on, I need to do it. I need to do a term dot cursor position first. Do um, you? Yeah, I think so. Why? And we'll do a clear as well, actually, first. Just in case there's anything on there. Um. First, so we'll clear the screen. Set the cursor position. Yep. To one comma. Good idea. Oh, what am I doing? That's a bit annoying. The do while well, you do the while true do, and then it does the that file first straight away. Yeah, but annoying. yeah, I find that annoying too. Right, so how long? Not long. Okay, so I'm copying this program here, and I'm going to bring out. I'm going to bring power sign back with me. And then you said, save the variable to read, right? Uh, save the variable. You can save it to minutes or m or whatever you like. But um, I'm on the wrong floor of this building. Hang on. Yeah, there we go. Hi. Right. Uh, yeah, it saves whatever you want to call it. Time. Ah, yes, okay. So you've got a while true. Instead of while true, you want to do while time is less than or... No, no, wait, we need a counter. So we have X as a counter, or I. I, I would usually use Okay, it. Now use I. While I is less than time. And before that, we need to set I to zero. No, before that line. And before that line. Yeah, we just need to initiate, initialize the variable as zero. There we go. Right. So while i is less than the time that they entered, mm -hmm. do. Okay. And then we do all of that stuff. Yep. And at the end of that stuff, we want to wait. Uh, what's that end there? That's from the wild true. Okay. Uh, the wild and then we want we want to wait how long? Ten seconds? Ten seconds. Yeah, ten seconds. Okay, so we've got ten seconds between each data refresh. Okay. But the problem is, is that that is just a loop to refresh once. What mm -hmm. we want to do is refresh six times every minute. Yeah. 
don't we? Because it's 10 seconds long, a minute is 60 seconds. Yeah. We need to refresh it six times. So what we need is at the top where that while I is less than time do, just under that, we need another while loop. So we're actually going to have a while loop within a while loop. The, the inner while loop is going to do the six times and the outer while loop is going to do the number of minute time, minutes um, that they want to do it for. So these ones are going to need double indenting. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so we've got power, power sign, S tunnel, scan, and shaft. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to go get the T lights program. Okay. Uh, although I can't remember how to get down to how do the the power guys get down to the subway uh, the service network? No idea. There must be somewhere. Is there an elevator somewhere? No, oh, I can't see one. I'm going outside the front door, and I'm just going to go down. Yeah. Down the hatch. Down the hatch. Doing the hitch. Okay. Floppy disk is in. So, terminate the program that's running, and do a copy. T lights to disk T lights. There they are, just a straight out copy. Done. Done. Right, I like so our I like our program's disk. It's nice to have a disk with everything yeah, on it. I think it's a good idea. So while what did we say? Hang on. Yeah. Right, so uh, this is the bit that's repeating it six times. So we're going to. What's after I? What counter do you use after I? J. Well, J equals one to six. Now, how do we do that? I've got. I think we've got that in our shaft program as well. Possibly. Uh, is it shaft? I ain't got the disk in. Eh. It'll be shaft, yeah. I think that it controls how far it goes and stuff, right? Yeah, let's yeah. scroll down a little bit in the shaft program here and have a look. Last functions. Well, not functions. Yeah, by the way, if you ever want to look what I'm looking at, just look up at the top computer. That's what I'm looking at. Uh, it is... Oh, it's so much better. Look at that. Where's it gone? I'm sure there's something in here where there we did it. The, the further down, I think. Uh, oh, yeah. For... Uh, variable equals start oh, we need a four. dash and then the end. It's yeah, it's a four. Sorry, okay. not a while. So we've got a, a for loop inside of a while loop, and we, yeah, that's it. There we are. Go to the end, and then we want a comma, and then we're going to go to six. Sorry, one to six. Uh, we don't have to put an increment on the on that. I think it increments every time. Yes, it does. So at the end oh, of four, it it, six, right? yeah, it's yeah. do. So you want you want your do. You got your ending, haven't you? Yeah, I've got always. So that's it. Done. Well, we need to print it to the screen. The well, the print screen's there. I mean, what I mean is the logic for the multiple count is there. Yeah. Okay, so what are you what are you doing with the M's? No, nothing. It's just when you go there, it tries to put math. It tries to change it. Oh, to okay. Map. So save it. And well, let's run it and see what happens. So let's tell it to run for one minute, shall we? So it should it should do it six refreshes. Power. Yeah. yeah. And it should ask you how long we like it to run for. One. Let's see if it works. Oh, power line six. Okay, that's expected number. Oh, of course. So we're reading in a string, and we need to convert it to a number. I'll go down to line six. I think I know where it is. Yeah. So that I there, mm -hmm. that needs converting from a number to a... To a string. No, it is a string, isn't it? It needs converting, yeah. Well. No, 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 it's not the I, it's the time. Mm -hmm. The time is a string, and he's converting to number. Okay, so so what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, Can we're going to look at how to do concatenation. It's not concatenation. Con concatenation is when you stick two things next to each oh, other. Yeah, sorry. It's a cast. Uh, we want to cast uh, a string as a number, and I think the function for that. Uh, so let's do a new variable. 
instead of uh, from time. So we can put it, call it. Uh, I suggest we call it end time. Mm -hmm. So that way it's number uh, from the number. And to do it, uh, I think. Yeah, it's two number. <laughs> two number. Like this, with the string inside it. Okay. And then this time down here, in the while loop... It needs to go to end time. So it needs to go to end time. There you are, there we go. And then we need to capital T. Yep. Uh, are variables uh, case sensitive in Lua? I think so. Okay, so let's go for one minute. Oh, there we go. Right, so we've got one printout. Now it should print out again after 10 seconds. Now we haven't put a clear in yet and we did this on purpose so that we could have a good look at what's going on. Yep. So there's two. We want to make sure that our counting's right. Mm -hmm. If we start to one and go to six, it might actually only do five because of the way it increments and the way the loop works. Yep. So that's three and I'm gonna have a look. What was I looking at? I was looking at the programs I've got on this mm -hmm. disc, wasn't I? So what pro, what, we're, we're short. Sorry? That's four. Oh, is it done four, is it? Um, we've got password, Five. power sign. We haven't done IT sign. I'm going to go get the IT sign from the server room. Six. It did six. Make sure it doesn't do more than six, Biff, and be patient. <laughs> you know, it's so likely to do seven if we've got our maths wrong or something. Seven. Is it still going? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's surprising. Well, I can't be wrong. Eight. Oh, this isn't good. <laughs> is it going for what? Why is it doing? I'm very, I'm very and confused. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh no, six. It's just moved down. Oh right, one, okay. Two, three, four, five, six. No, no, it's still going. <laughs> Yeah, it's still going. Uh, I mean, we could just have it running all the time, leave it away. We could do, but I have no idea why that would keep going round and round and round. Can you think of anything? Have a look now. Hang on. Uh. Hang on. Now, one thing I wanted. To Got the IT sign program. Just going to check that the, the sign's still working. Da -da 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 -da. Yep, sign's still working for the IT department. Cool. So we have. Is it still going? I stopped it now. All right. I is equal to zero. Well, it's less than n time. Do. Are we querying the wrong variable or something? Well, you see, we set i to zero, yeah. and while zero equals, you know what we should do, just to do a test. Yeah. We should do. Oh, oh what, what happened there? Uh, at the beginning of this line, before this line, we'll do a print, and we'll print number time. We'll print time. And number time to make sure. Yeah. We might have to cast that to a string. <laughs> for it to work, I don't know whether we'll need to do that or not. We'll see. No, it didn't. It comes out as a one. One and a one. Yeah. Okay, so let's terminate that and edit it again. Mm -hmm. So that one, that that uh, end time is a one, and I started out at zero. We don't increment i. There's no i. There's no increment on the i. I needs to become equal to i plus, plus one. one. There we go. That's how you do an auto, uh, a loop. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Now it should work. But we still need to count how many it does, whether it's six or whatever. Right. I think I've got all the programs that we've been making recently okay, onto cool. the programs disk. Two. We, we've got IT sign, password, power. 
which needs to be changed to like power monitor or something like that. Power sign, S tunnel. What's S tunnel? Service tunnel, isn't Service it? Tunnel. Yeah, scan, shaft, and T lights. And uh, that's everything for all of the uh, all of these programs. Once they're done, will be available, made available on the Master Hellish website, which I think is brilliant. Yeah. Five. Right, there's five. So ten seconds, and we'll know if we've got to six or not. Actually, no, because if we haven't got to six, it would just Stop probably terminate. Him. Yeah. Is it finished? How are we doing? Six. There's six. Ooh. We could have actually put a counter on the screen and displayed the value of the thing, to be honest. Stopped. It stopped. We did it, Biffin. Cool. Right, so now, instead of it listing over and over again like that, we need to put a clear in it. Mm -hmm. In the loop. After the sleep? Uh, e put it just before the prints. Just before the prints. Yeah, so you clear the screen just yeah, before you're yeah. starting to put stuff on it. I don't know if you have to do a term dot clear or what, but we'll do that for now. Right, now, while we're at it, let's get it on this monitor, shall we? I think we will need to do a term dot clear. Can you remember what monitor the number this was? I cannot. Guess who's a genius and made a note you, of it from last episode? Down, yeah, I wrote it down. So <laughs> it's it's go to the very top of the program because we're gonna have to declare this. Save it. Go up. Oh, you, yeah, save it. Right. I think at the very beginning we're gonna declare our value. So we're gonna what should we call our monitor? Um, Pmon. Pmon. Power monitor. Okay, is equal to t um, peripheral dot wrap. There we are, and it's going to be monitor underscore nine. Uh, perfect. Oh, by the way, you slam that nine. Get it. You man. slam that nine. There. <laughs> right now, instead of printing, we want to write to monitor nine. So, Tim dot wrap. And we want. No, 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 no. In in the middle of our loop. Oh, right. oh, I see what you mean. Where all you got these terms? Yeah, you need to. Yeah, you need to do that. Yeah, I forgot about this bit at the beginning here. So yeah, pmon, and just replace these terms with pmons. There, you are. replace them with pmons. And then that should come out to this monitor, which will be nice. I don't know why they've got holes in the walls still, the power guys. It's a very unsafe building. I've got one floor here that appears to have nothing in it, but I have no idea what that's about. In fact, there's two floors with nothing in it. Then they've got a floor full of steam and a floor full of water. <laughs> and then on the roof, they've got loads of water tanks. So... Okay, that's that done, I think. Right, okay, where are you? Uh, down ground floor. Yeah. Oops. Okay, so you got the mong.clear. So these prints, we need to do, instead of prints, we need to do a write. And so it's going to be a pmon.write. Uh, and we're so close to actually getting it on the screen, Biffin. Then we can just set the size and make it in the middle. Uh, I think I'm done with this disk and this computer now. Yep, I am. Perfect. Put the computer Almost bits away. There. With this. There we go. Little P. Big M. Now at the minute, that's just going to write it one after the other because we need to set the cursor position. Mm -hmm. um, but we also need to set the size and so forth as well. So I guess we ought to just put them in there. So let's run this program once so the program recognizes the arrays. I'm just going to okay, save it and exit. I'm going to run the program power. It will say on the screen here, look, how long would you like to monitor the power for? You didn't, you didn't actually tell them in minutes, so they have no idea what they're doing. Yeah, Enter your one, and there it is. Look, 
at the at the end of where it was last time, and it just goes off onto a new line. Mm -hmm. So it's working. It's working. So what we're going to do now is kill it, terminate it, and edit it. And we, when we go in, we're going to take out these print time because we just put those in for testing. So we don't want that. There we go. Right. So we've got our variables at the top. Then we clear our monitor, set our cursor position, ask the question. Now that question should be Insert how many minutes? How many? How would you like to monitor the power for? There. <laughs> okay. So now uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do a pmon dot set kind of cur cursor permission type uh, position type thing. Mm -hmm. So because we've got we've run the program it now recognizes p1 yeah. as an object so we can do uh, sets cursor position like that and I can never remember which way around these are so what we're going to do is we're going to do it t 2 and 5 and we'll see which way around that is okay. and then here we'll do the same p1 dot set cursor position. I think it's X, Y, but I can't remember. It could be Y, X, I'm sure. Can't yeah. Remember. So in which case, that should be 3, 5, shouldn't it? Yeah. And then for this last I one, which right. pmon yeah, dot right. set cursor position. I'm not looking, even looking at the screen now. No, 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 no. I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm all right. All right. All right. I just forgot to press tab. <laughs> uh, let's make that uh, actually three, four. Let's make that six, five, and let's make this one five, four. Four, yeah. Two, four, and six. And then let's put our bracket on the end that I forgot. Save it, and let's see what it looks like so far. How many minutes? One minute will do, thank you. Okay. Got it the wrong way around. Yeah. Got it the wrong way around. And there's still uh okay, so we need to terminate that. Of course we'd get it the wrong way around. We can't do one of these programs without there being a lot of bug in them. Okay, so you'd think we'd remember by now. <laughs> I've yeah. this so many times. So I want to Tech before we do as well, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna do the Pmon set font set set. Text, text size, size scale. scale five is five too big no it's a big scale. okay so let's make that one no wait two we don't we don't want it right up against the wall or did i get that the wrong way around no these want to be two they want to be <laughs> i'll get this right one day and this is the line isn't it so yeah. if we do line two line Four and line six. Let's save that and see how terrible it looks. I'm going to power one. <laughs> okay, it's a I little, think... I think a little <laughs> big, right? I think our font size is a little <laughs> big, Biffin. Oh okay. dear. Okay. Try three. Three? You don't think four? I'll well, try four first, yeah. I, you know what? I think your initial instinct to three is probably more accurate than. Oh, it's still too big. Oh, just that. Yeah. And also, we need to set the text size at the beginning as well, because if we don't do that, the first question just doesn't fit. Yeah. Um, unless we change the way it looks on the screen. I think we'll change the way it looks on the screen. So where it says Monroe um, text scale 2. That surprises me. I thought three would have yeah, been me too. a That's good one to do. Um, I'm just going to head up to the top of the screen because this bit here where it says how many minutes, um, I'm going to split it onto two lines. Like this. Um, 
and we need a, I need to put a, a like a set cursor in there, don't I? Otherwise, it's going to write it over the top of itself. Set cursor position. Now, which way around should this be, Biffin? <laughs> Come on, this, we should know this by now. We should, should know it. This should be um, the first one. Is the indentation? Is, is, is indentation, so that can be one, and then the second is the line. So I'm going to make that three. I'm going to change this one to two. I'm going to change this one to two as well, just to bring it into the mm -hmm. away from the edge you a little to, bit. Let's... You need to hang on. Whoa, 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 go back. What? You need to. Oh yeah. The cursor parts. You need to close it off. There we go. Save. Exit. Run. Ah. Oh, doesn't quite fit. Okay. If I does the word you fit on the screen? Just. Uh, All right. Okay. In that case, what we'll do is we'll remove the word like from there. You can also you could also remove um, here at uh, the end there. Look here. You can also just hang on. Sorry. I'm gonna. I was just gonna put it on a new line. I was gonna do two, two dash four. And then p p mon it out again to write uh, like that. And then we can just take the power four off the end of this mm -hmm. one. Otherwise, it just doesn't make sense. Well, I'm not sure, Biffin, but I think. Oh, I line think nine. I made a slight mistake on line nine. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, I forgot the first speech marks. Yeah. Right. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. That's that's perfectly fine. Yeah. 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 That does it. Yeah. We can move it across a little bit. I um if that is two uh we can probably move it to about here, which is two if it's a, a one, two, three, four, five, six. Change them all to sixes, that would make it a little more central. Yeah. So down here at the bottom, but all we need to do now is rename the program and uh that's it. The power guys have their program. Any thoughts? You got any thoughts, Biffin, about ways we could uh, tweak it, or do you think this is a very good version one? Uh, I think a version one. I think what we could do, what would be nice, is although it it's kind of clear that because all the forty thousands or four forty millions are yeah. all the same, so it's kind of clear that they're the power stored, but. Maybe we could add something like PS, you know, like power, co current capacity, and like just a little. Oh, like a table heading. Yeah. But oh, I, I see. Yeah, let's I let's do that quickly because that's actually quite easy to yeah. do, isn't it? So if we set these, this is two, four, and six. Mm -hmm. So in theory, if we change it to four, no, not forty-two. <laughs> if we change it to four. Six and eight, yeah, and then really this text scale should be at the beginning of the program, shouldn't it? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go put it at the beginning of the program because that's where it really should be. Pmon dot set text scale. What was it? Two. Two. Yeah. There we go. I can't believe it's uh, only two. I know, it seems crazy, doesn't it? I thought there was lots of, like, but it's just because we've got a lot of text on there as yeah. well. Okay, so where this PMON set text scale is, I'm going to use that to do set the cursor position again. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do it to 6 dash 2. And then do a PMON dot right. And we're going to put it. Uh, we're going to call it capacity source. 
Is that the right source? No. Oh. How's it done? Okay, source. Power uh, stored? Yeah, stored. Just T O R E D, like that. Mm -hmm. Slash capacity. Did I do that right? I think so. So all we might need to do on this one now is just tweak the spacing of that a little mm -hmm. bit, but yeah, yeah, we just need to tweak the spacing. But um, it's good. Yeah, I like it. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully the power guys do too. Power guys, if you're watching, comment with how much you like it on a rating of one to, <laughs> one to, one ten. to ten. Give us a one to ten. How? And in fact, why not, audience? How, how much do you think you like this? I mean, to be honest, this is the first time we've ever, yeah. like me or Biffin, ever. have done a, like a, a a program where you not only scan something but we're communicating across a network yeah um so we've written programs on both ends and uh communicating across the network with rednet and well, it's all good practice for the stuff that's to come because we've got lots of this kind of stuff to do so yeah we kind of probably want to be making some sort of target list of things we want to achieve yeah. before maybe the end of the series do, maybe we can do that in a couple of episodes time we can have a little board in the room a to-do oh, list. Yeah. How have we got this far without a to-do list? <laughs> I don't know. Winged it. Winged it. Yeah, we've winged it. <laughs> uh, we okay. could make this update every second. Should we should we just do that? See what it's like? Yeah, go on. Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Make it update every one second. So where this sleep ten is, okay, we're gonna change it to sleep one. And where we got the what oh god. And where we got the one to six because it's six times it's going to be 60 because that's per minute mm -hmm. isn't it yeah so save exit run it it's like how many minutes do we want it to run two or something oh i like that that looks better yeah with it, with it updating quicker like mm -hmm. that cool well done biffin thank you you did most of it but yeah <laughs> I, yeah, it was a joint effort. You did some, I did some, and uh, I think the end result is all right. Remember yeah. your score, 1 to 10, down in the comments on Biffin's channel there. And if you want to check out my videos or his videos in this series, uh, the link to the oh, playlist, which has been updated, uh, is Yay, in the description. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, you've been awesome, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.